Welcome to the Boss Foreign Kingdom campaign for Davidi et Impera 1.2.2. In the last part, all the action was around Odessa because we took it back and the Romans came in and uh, we've put a pretty, pretty epic siege battle here, which went in an interesting way because I forgot all about the countdown. But we won it, and this re legion is now wrecked. I don't, I'm quite happy for this to retreat because it would have to retreat a long way to be able to get healed up and repaired I think it would have to come all the way to Opalina Larissa so the Roman stronghold in the Greek peninsula here is quite weak but we're going to start this part with a battle because this army came in and attacked this army and I actually withdrew because what I want is to be able to get these two armies and we're going to come in and attack these guys. So we're picking up exactly where we left off in the last part. I could go for the auto resolve, but I think we might be able to do a bit better than these. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to fight those guys. I, I just like getting my uh, cav army or my horse archer army into the action, actually. Rain, great. I don't want rain. Nice and dry. Right. You. Now they're going to be there got this slight rise up here my cav army coming in behind them okay uh, now they're probably going to wait for us to attack so there's no point in us really taking up a defensive position okay I'm, I'm kind of inclined just to set up on the front line here. Yeah. Gonna put here these guys on this side. Now they do have cav superiority, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on their cav units. And I think you guys can control that fringe and I think we have guys strung out in front like that right general I think you're gonna have to be in the classic position I think what we we'll have is these guys out here what left here we got Maxman I think you can take up behind like that a general go oh you're up here no I don't want you out in the open I want you there now the job of this army is going to be to effectively suck up the attack especially from their cavalry in fact I think what you could do is just inch forward a little bit our reinforcements have arrived And what I want is the cav army. I want to get this cav army into position first. I don't want it be being boxed into this corner. Okay. So. Get you guys roughly in the center. Archers and no one goes there. They got the calf there waiting. I think your job is going to be to protect this flank, and we're going to moving these guys forward a little bit. Now they're responding to my cav army, which is what I wanted them to do. Cav archers out. I start to come this way. Right. 
Right, here comes their cab. That's what I want to take down. Let's keep moving forward. Right. Wing two cab wings are there's archers coming in, but that's say gonna be okay. Warriors, you guys, to come off skirmish mode. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Not going quite according to plan. Right. Take out these. So the cav is the problem. Okay. Right. He's got those guys are breaking. Cav out the back. I think you can get away. Right, guys, come in here. Guys, there. Right, you guys start to fire into the backs of these. Round archers away. Actually, get the heavy cav round the back now. Right. 
swordsman this way. You guys pull back. Such as. Okay, here we go, mass cavalry charge, back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Citizen cavalry! Get this one in. Guys, pull back. Okay. That didn't go too well, but that's okay. Actually, you guys pull back this way. I think we're just going to use the, the mass horse archers. Yep, well, it goes without saying. Wait, you guys fire in on these. Okay, right, they've gone. Guys have done enough damage. Pull away. I think we're gonna. All right, I want us just to keep firing on those. Yep. General up. Right. This guy is dying. Just that down. Right, into the battle. Out. Right, swordsman, you pull away. Okay. General, pull away. General, up and in. Plates in. Guys, pull away. Right in. Right, maybe I should have gone for the auto resolve. Okay, guys. I think you've killed enough of my own troops.
kill these guys. Right, continue. Kill these guys completely. Right, just gonna speed it up, guys. Wow. The enemy general is dead. Right. I think that was a little bit more carnage than I thought it was gonna be, guys. We certainly took a lot of damage on the core units here. You'll probably find when the stats come out, but just at all we lost 883 so we lost nearly 25% of our forces but they are concentrated on several units so this army may need to pull back and refurbish a bit yep head down and I think we're just gonna release the captives sometime try and make these guys a bit more friendly inclined towards us and I'm gonna bring you back into Odessa just in case these guys get any big ideas yeah that didn't quite go and I've I've had an idea guys and I'm gonna bring this army over to here okay and you'll be able to refurbish out Wow. I think you guys are going to need to fall back so we're going to have to bring this army forward no, I don't want this army to come forward come to stand there to bring this army forward you come forward to about here there's a reason why I'm not bringing this army forward so we've got that there there and of course we've got a lot bit of cash to spend guys still thinking about coming over here but you can see that they've got two legios over here so that's going to be interesting let's see what we can get in the way of break well i think we can actually taxing this yes i am taxing it okay uh part of me wants to make this into a military port but is it going to be worth the effort one is two banditry shipwrights now this is my we may need this to power a food supply here fam's okay you could drop that in that's going to give me more empire maintenance half a percent empire maintenance that could make a difference come back to that I just want to see else if we got all that in next save here or something here this, is, this would give us another 150 wealth so we could go up to that so this is way behind the front line okay fifth near two more turns and you'll be ready to go give me a bit more wealth a bit more army replenishment and they give you four percent army replenishment 20 percent from agriculture I actually quite like that that could be quite useful it's gonna give me salt as well okay I think we're gonna go with that guys just to give this a strong front line uh, Pergamon I take this up I'm kind of a bit inclined an ancient capital okay strategic Hellenist capital capital wow well, that's gonna give me six food it's gonna cost me one extra food three public order yep we're gonna go with that guys I like that yeah ancient capital search rate give me give me a reasonable garrison 
go with that guys so I'm just gonna go for an intern oh so unassigned skills okay they thought this guy's doing very very well I'm still gonna keep pushing up your anything that improves your weapon plus two percent weapon increase missile range for units yep I think because this is my cav army oh so, and you're gonna fall back so I think we'll give you a bit of economic boost you're gonna fall back and refurbish so I need to keep armies here just in case the bolly sneak through there so I'm just gonna go for the intern guys right we've now completed perennial irrigation uh, that's it gonna stop the adoption mysteries of Eleusius okay Thank you. Production report never works. Okay, we're running very, very well here. And how far? Let me get. Okay. No, I don't want that. I want this army. How far out in the water? Um, okay, let's get you to about there. And I want about there. And I want you to come that way to fall back this way. You can refurbish eventually. And I think for the moment we're just gonna put this army into this area. Do I want to bring it forward? Okay. That's, that was a mistake, guys. Losing my strategy. I want you to come down to here. I want you to support this. I'm very, very inclined Commander. to have another spot of this Roman Legion. Got another Legion there, though. So if he comes in, this Legion may draw attention. That was the situation here. There's 13, so you have to keep an eye on that. Uh, we got this Roman. I uh, think you can just get rid of this trash. I don't want you raiding my territory. And that would give you a tiny bit of experience. Um, you know, oh, but a small army anyway, and that gives this guy a little bit of experience. So, should we give this guy a uh, knight commander as usual, just in case I need him as a general later on? Armies are doing okay, these guys are just glaring at them. I'm kind of inclined to come out, but th th these guys could take casualties again. So, okay, let's. But these guys are going to be fortified. I think I'm just going to. Their baggage train. Okay, it's not successful. Okay. I am the champion. I know As you, come you just to keep an eye on things there. Right. And we got a little bit of cash to spend, so. And garrison. That will him doesn't really improve anything that just it gives me a little bit more banditry and minus 10 provincial income okay mm, I think I could do better than that I'm kind of very att attracted to this now 
but that's capping my income. Got here, put seven. You got loads of sanitation. Food situation. Yeah, the food situation here is good. That would give me a tiny amount, but that will also give you more come from manufacturing. Commercial edict, stronger garrison, research rate, 120 lever. But it's going to kind of tank. I don't think that's got much of a return, to be honest. Uh, food situation here. This food's coming from here. Factory, I'm not convinced about this. But then this is actually holding the public order. Okay, let's take that up. And I guess I can hang on to the cash, guys. What was the research? Perennial in irrigation. Economic. City planning. Mine. Done. Right, so this chain's finished. Oh, that's for ships. I'm not particularly that interested in ships. Armored siege engines. Uh, Soul damage inflicted by siege engines. What we got here? Uh, Pre-siege enables building of field engineers workshop. Okay, that's three turns, and then that will give me. Minus five. I oh, know. See if we got anything better here, guys. Uh, crane mechanics growth. Complete. I'm gonna run out of things to research here, guys. I think we're gonna. That's perennial irrigation. I think we're gonna go with that. Just to complete that chain. Right, it's just gonna go for an intern, guys. Darkness gathers. Annual report, Garrison Army. That's probably because of the summer in the east. They assassinate. Yeah, I'm not interested. Construction report. Yep. Right. Romans seem to be falling back from this area. This army's retreated back that way. What we're going to do is bring this army in here. Oh, we've got an upgrade. Okay. Yes, wow. Okay. Back. Way to here. And let's patrol. One. You the march down to about here. Wow. Ready for further orders. Troll. Need to come out. At once. They're gonna give you guys the upgrade. And you can patrol. Okay. But you keeping an eye on them. Now there is an army Creeping around down here. There, there it is, but it's only a tiny little army. I think what I want is for you to kind of come up round this way. Okay. And obviously upgrading these armies is expensive, but yeah. But I think it's gonna be worth it to spend the whole turn on making these armies. These guys are a lot tougher. So. Especially my cav army. I mean, if this cav army gets a little bit more armor, so they're a bit more capable in the field, I'd love to have another cav army, actually. Um, how many armies have I got? Right, I've got the maximum number of armies. Which is unfortunate, which means I'm going to have to this army here tucked in kind of so I've got a siege army here which is effectively doing nothing uh, yeah got a siege army as well I think I'm gonna do 
Flying Navy. Got Navy here. I think if you get down to how far can you guys move? Get into the water. We still have a good wind. Navy come down to about there. Then the Romans are, are backing off. I want you guys to come this way. You come to here. And I think you... I've forgotten all about this army here. Although he's only 17 strong, so... But I, th I can fix that. We've got two armies to defend here. Keep these two armies to defend here. And I think we're going to push this army into operating in this area. Right, guys, I think that's all we can do this turn. I've spent all my cash, so I'm just going to go for an end turn. Right, Suclids have broken their alliance. Okay, that could be a problem. Increase rank admiral, increase governor. Yeah, that could be a problem if these guys are. Uh, let's have a quick. The, they've actually broken their status there. So we may have to choose. Okay. I may have to change my situation now. Right. I'm going to have to come back. It's winter. Uh, the AI is doing what it's always very, very good at. So, I think we can stick with the current plan. You keep it this way. Now way because you're fully and you Ready for battle. to keep moving this way Ready for further orders. and Fleet reporting. Moving out. Fleet to come up to here I mean, you're actually on supply lines, which is good. I suppose it counts one, two, three. Okay, so we can be on supply lines, so that's good. Got this fleet coming round here. I want this fleet to should be able to land here. Actually, these guys might be able to land here. Actually, okay. I want these guys to come in and take this settlement here. Okay. Uh, Ready for order. Want guys to upgrade. I think we're going to need to recruit actually. No. Recruit. We've got here, we've got archers. Don't have any cav. Okay, that could be tricky. I think we're going to go with. We've got here. Range. No, these are. We'll get a couple of horse archers in and that there and of course we'll upgrade our general and I think we'll just upgrade guys. Again I'm spending a lot of money but I think upgrading these armies ready to fight is probably more important than anything else at the moment. And I mean I'd love to push on here. That's going to take us closer to the Romans, but I think we need to deal with this first, so I'm just going to go for another end turn. Oops, got a whole load raft of skills. How can I, serve you? I haven't. Go there. And we got here. Upkeep for all land units. Yep, that could be useful. Uh, raiding in enemy. Of, I think. 
think we'll go with that. Okay, you go with that. <laughs> There's my single little navy down here doing his own thing. Making me lots and lots of cash. This is and I think cultural Yep, I think you can add to that. So we're doing okay here guys. go for another end turn. I think we can get one more end turn in and that would be it for this part guys. I'd love to actually take that settlement before this part finishes. No warrior like standing alone in yep. battle. Take the non-aggression. I want as many friends as possible. Okay. Got an increase in rank. Subject gains notoriety. Right, the first thing I want is for his army to come ashore. And None will escape. Can you ready for battle? Yeah, you come up in support. Guys, come over here. Got that agent keeping an eye on them. You can now come up, keep an eye on the situation here. Okay. Resolve. Eighty-six percent. You're kidding me. Okay, let's just encircle that for the moment while I sort this out. I want. Guys ashore and army supplied for the city, okay. Take what you can at your command. And I want you This guy's raiding of all things, I keep on doing that. I don't care how tired you are. On the move. I think we can get a patrol out of these two guys. Here, you're 20, they've got a garrison there. Or oh, not a garrison, a. Eh? Wait, get in here to replenish. You can get back to here to regain your credibility. Uh, these guys are ready to go. It's going to slow up the pace a little bit now for. Oh, over here. I want you up back up to here and uh, upgrade these guys as well and you can just patrol because if any trouble kicks off between the Sukulids and these guys I want to grab this settlement if possible Let's just come in here and indulge in the slaughter. Let's gonna fight this quickly, guys. It shouldn't take long. We can even possibly do it at double speed. Uh, they've got some archers. I mean, they're gonna come out at us. Okay, it's and dry. Start deployment. Uh, Cav army's coming from that direction. Okay. Oh, this is oh, I haven't fought in this settlement for a long time. Okay, and gonna battle line here. Keep it nice and dense. Gonna put these guys behind. Okay, and I think what we have is. Three of you over here. General, you can come this end. Sarchers, 
teleport these guys. Should just bring. Because they're bound to come bowling out against us over here. I think we'll just put guys behind off skirmish mode. And maybe you shouldn't be so far out. Maybe we'll bring you here. Then we'll have the horse archers out like that. Okay. They come. Our reinforcements have arrived. All that remains then is to listen to your orders okay. and obey. Prepare yourselves. You guys come around that way. Oops. You guys come to support that side of the line. You guys. Shift the focus onto the centre here. Our hidden units have been discovered. Okay. Let's get round to here. Ready for orders. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Step archers. Hey. I thought I told you to. Let's just cause a crate A. Our hidden units have been discovered. Quite literally, create a killing zone here. Those here. Also, I didn't actually upgrade this army. <laughs> oh, well, a bit of a fail there, guys. The battle is turning in our favour. Yep. Right. You guys come round here. Those are dying. Guys, go after these. Okay. Nope, nope, oh, nope, 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 nope. Guys, just keep killing those. He's in. The men are wavering. Why is wavering? Hey. Okay. Our men flee the field of battle. Idiots. Guys in cab up here. Right. Right. 
Departures. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Right. Guys, stop. Stood around doing nothing. Why did you guys get mixed up in battle there? Okay, you guys pull away. Right, you guys just keep firing into the backs of these. Cab this way. Those archers in. I'm really getting to love these horse archer armies. That's it. You. Okay. okay. You guys quite literally pull away. Killing my own troops. Yep, end battle. Yeah, I mean, that's the downside of the Horse Archer Army. I mean, a lot of these guys, you can see a lot of the, well, so quite a lot of the casualties were actually self inflicted. Got one unit that got pretty badly beaten up, but yeah, it'd be okay. War declared. Declared war on who? Okay. And of course, we're just going to occupy this because this is going to be my power base. Okay. Certainly want to convert this. So that gives me the highest Hellenic influence. I think we'll go with that. Certainly, uh, level four royal barracks. No, I don't think I want a barracks here. I just want this lined up Ready for orders. On and the move. We hunger those are ready to go I'm a bit inclined to sweep up through here first so maybe we'll leave one of these armies in defence I am going to do it actually what I should have done with this army which upgraded it the fact that they all upgraded in this area now Make sure you're upgraded. You're upgraded. Mercenaries here. 49. Dacian mer mercenary phalanx men. Wow. Dacian phalanx men here. Yeah. Bit inclined to get rid of this guy. Not that brilliant. Actually, what we could do. I merge them up, that gets rid of him. And we can recruit him. So we have a couple of phalanx units. Yep, I think that might work. Okay, we're just gonna do this guys. Uh, characters. Favoured by the gods. We must celebrate. Yes, we will celebrate. And I think this is where I'm gonna leave it guys. Just to give you a quick overview my politics is doing okay I've lost a little bit of my there yeah, my influence isn't particularly that great simply because I've got so many armies in the field fighting doing things let's have a quick check at this guy he's going to be my oh, just around this part off can't do it so let's keep upgrading a few of these well of this army because this is going to defend in case the Bolly decide to come in through here but I think in the next part I want to push through and take this so we're up against the Bolly and eventually seal off this north bit here and get an agreement here and then the idea will be to 
squeeze down onto the Romans here and first drive them out of the Greek peninsula and so effectively we will control this with our allies tucked in here because there's nothing here to do with the victory conditions as far as I know just have a quick check yeah I mean we've got to I mean I'm counting these as complete because I don't really want to wait I mean if I really wanted the military victory I could do this afterwards the, the two that I'm interested in is Egyptus down here and of course the big one which is Rome Latinum so I want to drive through here but this is where I'm gonna leave it guys hope you've enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting say so in the next part we will continue our war and to take this settlement back that will bring us up against the body but I mean can we knock the body out of the war Gods of the afterlife. no Spare you still don't want peace okay Bastanians anyone here we've got lots and lots of trade Scordese Rome the Nervi do not attempt to sweeten oh, truth okay. and honor See, let's give it a go. No. My okay. Um, I say ideally I would like to take um Cordova just to consolidate this whole province. Well, to give me a power base to push down this way, but I think I need both of these now. To one to defend against the body of I mean if I could get that one and Singdom. I mean, that would give me a nice defensible front line up against these guys, the Dorsai. Let's see if the, will the Dorsai like us. Yep, we've actually got a we're military allies with them. Great. That's so if I can join with these, then we can then maybe just defend against the body behind and then push down anyway anyway i'm rambling guys so this is where i'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>